Hello fellow scary box. I did not even plan to record right now But I saw that I got a message in game I can show you Shriek echo through the night. I googled and that's like one of the next bosses I mean you can either summon it or it can spawn randomly like this. So yeah, I want to give it a go I don't know when is it going to spawn? That's the question, but yeah it's spawn. Okay, so these bosses... Holy shit, okay. Okay, these are... These are pretty crazy attack. What the... Okay, uh, what are you... Is this supposed to be the next boss? I don't know. Looks way too difficult of a boss if we're talking straight up next, yeah. Okay. Because it, it has a shit ton of health, but it, it has these crazy attacks. Straight up, yeah. Which one was that? Which boss is that? I'm not sure, is that the Keeper? I'm really not sure, but that boss seems quite unfair, like that that barrage of whatever, she throws some magical shit, how are you supposed to dodge that, that's so wide and you don't have the movement early on in this game yet. So, let's go Mets. This is very, very professional, I made some progress. I definitely made some progress, I built some more bases and stuff, so, and I've got a pretty nice pylon system at the moment, so yeah, it's pretty nice, uh, I did get this, this, I don't know what is this for, it's some consumable, it says it's a boss summon, but like, but on the wiki of the mod I couldn't find anything on this boss so I found it near a portal so we are going to that portal right now I don't know if I need to be there but just to show you there was also a portal I think in the sky when I explored I got a star fury that's very nice yeah I near this I got it okay so it's gonna cost me health what did I just do what did I just do? Hello? What the fuck did I just do? Oh, it is a boss. The what? The what? What? What is this shit? Repe okay, this is cool actually. This is very cool. Oh, he wants to smack my butt. Hey, yo! Oh, okay, what the? Okay, this is crazy. Okay, we got this, we got this. I don't know the attack patterns at all. And I guess it would be nice to have an arena. I don't have an arena right here because... Yeah, because I, I did not ex... I don't know, I didn't prepare for this shit. He has pretty crazy attacks, okay, but this mod's bosses, they seem to generally be pretty hard. They do seem to be pretty hard. Like, the attack projectiles and everything, they, they are, oh. Okay, I don't know, but uh, he has defensive capabilities as well, no? Wow. Yeah, this mod seems to be very, very difficult. I'm gonna be honest, super difficult. Whew! It's crazy difficult. Like, the you got these pre hard mode bosses with insane attacks. Like, whew. Okay, we're gonna try it at our arena. I hope I can do it. I have some potions, but I'm not sure. I may just die and lose them, then it's not nice, so. There are no campfires here. I do need to make some campfires for sure. Okay. 
Can I summon it here? Yes, I can. Nice. Okay, this time I didn't have to go through the dialogue. No, this is cool. But that attack reminds me of one of the attacks from... Uh, what's it called? Uh, the 1.4 boss uh, in hard mode. I don't remember her name. But it's generally a pretty difficult boss and it's like very late into the game. So What? Why did I not heal at all in that potion? I don't know. Come on. Guys, we got this easy. I mean, not really easy, but... Wait, am I healing him if I hit those barriers? I think so. Oh, he seriously did... Ah! Guys, this shit is difficult. To say the least. Like, his, his attack patterns are... I guess we tried two bosses, but they seem to be extremely difficult. The problem is with Eater of Worlds, I don't have any more summons. I mean, I, I don't have any summons, but... Like, I mean... Uh, that if I summon it now, and I build an arena here, then it's just kind of pointless. I guess we're... I'm going to build some platforms. Okay, we're, we're ready. I don't know what weapon is good for this boss, I have no clue. Probably not start here, but maybe start here. Should be focusing on its head, but it's kind of impossible. Okay, yeah, I'm doing terrible. Did I split it? I hope not. Come on. Okay, yep, I split it 15 times already, which sucks, to say the least. And I died. Well guys, this is just gonna be an episode of me getting destroyed by bosses. Pretty much. What do I need for the summon? Eater. Uh, I, I don't know, what is it called? The summon for Eater of Worlds? Warm food. Warm food. 15 rotten chunks or... I guess, yeah, and wild powder. Sold by Dryad. Fuck, she needs to be... Do I have any of those mushrooms? I think I just destroyed them. Ah, fuck, guys. Guys, unfortunately, I cannot summon the boss I started the video with because it requires the ruby. I would also like to beat King Slime, but it also requires the ruby. And uh, yeah, finding rubies, uh, I mean, it's a problem, you know? Finding rubies is probably the hardest gem to find for me always, rubies. Uh, I did make an arena here and I have a, another summon for the Eater of Worlds, so... I think we should give it another go now in an open space, because I did terrible, I couldn't move around. Like, I don't know what weapon to use though, could it, I don't know, hard to say. But uh, I think we got this, maybe, uh, I'm not very confident, but let's go. Let's go guys. I guess now, in an open space, he can, he can do a lot of shit. Like, with this shoot, the things that he shoots, very dangerous. Not in an open space, he, he cannot do that. We should focus on the head maybe as well, and the tail of course. 
tail is pretty deadly. I think I can break these things he shoots as long as I attack them. As long as I cover myself more or less. Yeah, I don't know, those things he hits you with like crazy damage. Come on, attack, okay. Come on guys, we got this, maybe. Probably not, considering I already have no health. I, I am about to get a heal off any moment now, so that's also pretty nice. And we still haven't split him. Still haven't. Uh, oh, we should, uh, there's two. I just had max health. I took one hit of those things he shoots. Okay, we split him. We split him. That's not good. I hate how, how slow the projectiles of my weapon are. Straight up they are so slow. I really do hate it. Come on guys. I would like to take out his other thing, but my projectiles are too slow to hit it. Okay, now I split it again, but I killed the other one. Looking a bit more positive now. It's not split now, because we just killed it. Come on. Okay, in a way it's easier fight, fighting it in an open space. Okay, we just split it. That's horrible. Because we split two big ones, not like before. Before we split small, split small ones, now we split up the big ones. And now it's three parts. Ah, I did not mean to do that. Four parts, okay. Guys, we got this. We got this 100% made. Minus the splitting, I'm doing alright. Except that I'm starting to get hit by the heads because there are too many of them. Come on. Oh, he just redirected his attack. He wasn't even going towards me, but when I took out his head, he changed it, okay? What I like is that if I beat this boss, I can buy the summon of uh, an NPC. That's very nice with mods, because grinding for these summons is just annoying. It's really annoying. I cannot lose at this point. Don't jinx myself, but I cannot. I guess it is easier fighting it, fighting it in an open space, but probably with a melee character. Uh, with like a ranged character, not so much because the sword you swing protects you from all the projectiles in a way. I mean, you still get hit, but a lot of them you can take out. Like with the gun, for example, not really. With a mage weapon, I guess, depends which mage weapon it is. Come on. I guess, well, let's switch to this now. And I'm about to take him out now, fool. Yes, and we did it, guys. Second try. That first try was horrible. But now that we did it, this is my first time taking out this boss in master mode. Perfect. Oh, I've got an Eater of Worlds summon. Perfect. Yeah, now I guess it's those bosses. What's this? Eldritch? Elemental? What, what the fuck are even elemental weapons? I have no clue. Some special class? Shadow resistance? Yeah, I, I have no clue what have these things do. I haven't. 
No clue about this mod in general. Angry Worm Scarf. Uh, what do I change it for? I guess I don't need this, but this is wording, so that's always nice. But yeah, it's... Do I need the amulet? Not really, right? I think I'll just have this because it's for defense. Yeah, I think it's more worth it. Okay. Uh, I guess I could make some... Do I only have 56 shadow scale thing? Because you need quite a few of them. Guys, I just made this armor. I do not have enough things left for the pickaxe though, so that's unfortunate. But but it's fine. You know, it, it's fine. I just realized I had no armor even now. I, I thought I had iron armor. But I guess I only had the shield thing, like, I mean, this thing, like the mining helmet, so I had, how much defense did I have? Let, let me see, because with this armor I have 29, without it I had 12, yeah, no wonder I'm taking crazy damage from those bosses. So now I should be able to tank a lot more shots, I can buy some potions I guess and with those potions I can try the boss again this one uh, I guess I could try Lepus but I don't have the summon I don't know this is consolaria mod this one supposed to drop me uh, the bunnies suppo are supposed to drop this but I don't think they drop it well so far since I've played this mod, so I may have to cheat that summon in just because I don't think they, they'll, they'll actually drop me the thing. Okay, let me get some potions and try that boss again now with proper armor and a warm scarf. I should be able to take a lot more damage. And I have some gold now, so I can buy some potions. Uh, this one as well, and oh, damage by 10%. Okay, that's pretty huge. Critical strike, that's also pretty huge. I didn't have those potions before when I fought the other bosses, so it's about time now. I still don't think it's gonna go too well because this guy is pretty crazy with his attack. Like, look at this shit. This is one of the first bosses in the game. And you're telling me this is fair. Maybe I should turn off the minimap because I can't see the boss. I am taking a lot less damage now, a lot less damage. With everything. So mo so much less damage. Okay, okay, this is... But it, he has crazy attacks, it really reminds me... Okay, I think he heals if I hit that. At least my summon can still... I am going melee, but I'll allow myself seven, so I usually do that, but not always. Because why not just have an extra summon? It's like one summon anyway. Come on, guys. We got this. Easy. Very easy. Okay. Okay, we got this. Okay, what the... what is that attack? I don't know. Okay, uh, he's spamming shit now. Okay, I guess now I just let my summon slowly attack him for 5 damage at a time. But I'm looking good now. But it's like a sick ass boss, man. I'm gonna be honest. It seems hard, but it's like a cool boss. Like. Especially, I cannot say. A lot of the time, I cannot say, like, a lot of good things about pre hard mode boss fights because. The move sets and everything they aren't as good because you don't have that good gear. But this one is crazy. It looks like a hard mode boss. Straight up. Yeah, but that armor and and some potions plus uh, this worm scarf makes such a huge difference. It's crazy. Okay. Let my summon chip at it. such a huge difference because now I'm going through this guy pretty easy. 
I guess I feel like I'm fighting better as well, I'm not getting hit as much, but also when I am getting hit, I'm not taking a huge ton of damage. So, yeah. This guy is straight up epic. Oh, what is that attack? Oh, that's... yeah. That was cool, but it did a lot of damage even with everything to me. Okay, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, those are probably the deadliest attacks. They still do a lot of damage. Oh, I cannot even move much. So, of course it's hitting me. Oh no 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 Come on Don't mess up now Am I gonna get killed now? Come on, we, we both have no health Oh, I beat it! Whew. I got scared that I was gonna fail. It's cool, it even has all this dialogue, but this boss fight is straight up epic. Honestly, I'm very impressed by this boss. I did not expect it to be like this. At all. Oh, that's even... <laughs> he was even down, but not dead yet. Wow. This is cool. Oh, that's... Yeah, I don't need that. What's this magic weapon? I don't need that either. What's this? Holy res... Huh? Oh, it's like a shield. It's an accessory, right? Oh, wait. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's an... Someone's a holy shield... Mo reflecting most of the projectiles seems pretty good actually seems pretty good I may keep that for now we'll see I mean it breaks eventually but it depends what you're fighting probably if it's good or not because it counters ranged projectiles but not all projectiles. Okay. I think I will end the episode here. It was mostly boss fights once again. I feel like those are the most interesting parts. That's why I'm mostly focusing on them cutting out a lot of the grinding and everything. But I feel like we will do Lepus next time. I will have to probably cheat that in because I don't think the bunnies will drop the summon and Fight, finding bunnies is rare, but even those I kill, they never drop it. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to cheat that in. But otherwise, these ones, I guess I'll have to go search for a ruby underground. I am going to need to search for a ruby underground. Okay, guys, hit the like, hit subscribe, and see you in the next video.